Hundreds of people have already signed up to work at polling locations throughout Southern California, and many go through hours and hours of training just to make sure that they can handle any potential issue in what could be the most contentious election in U.S. history. The I-Team's Lolita Lopez went through at least some of that training to see what it takes. Inside a mock vote center, Kai, I actually assisted with the voting process for the election at the beginning of this year. Jeff, between every voter, we're going to be cleaning the poll books and the stations. And first-time election worker, Rahul. I was like, Why, uh, let me see if I could go help them out. Are among hundreds of people who have signed up to assist voters at 168 vote centers in Orange County. This live training comes after hours of online courses to prepare for different situations. Kai Martin remembers something that came up during the March primary. An issue that we ran into was someone that was voting outside of their county. Out of county voters, addresses not on file, no registration, topics we covered in this training. We also learn how to issue a provisional ballot. I think it's a pretty, pretty foolproof method. At 61, Jeff Campana has some concerns because of COVID, but is comfortable with the in-person precautions and the process overall. When you hear about don't trust it, how do you feel knowing and being a part of it? Yeah, it makes me mad because um, I see all the safeguards that are in place, and um, I. Especially after working the last time, it's pretty easy. To, it's a very easy to tell if somebody has already cast a ballot. The Orange County Registrar's Office tells us right now more than 1,400 election workers have been hired. 61% have been fully trained. Most have already been assigned to vote centers. Did I do it? They say about 1,600 people are needed overall, and county employees could fill in. LA County already preparing for that. If there's a location that we have to open up on the uh, on the last few days, we're going to need a, a pool of people who are trained that we can put out there. In the meantime, some advice from this new pro. I would say to just try to be as patient as possible. And election workers are practicing their patience too. The Secretary of State's office has actually laid out some guidelines on how to deal with potentially difficult situations because if voters aren't wearing face masks or aren't practicing social distancing, they'll still be able to vote. Some of the simple messaging includes Includes, we're following guidelines to protect you and everyone else. Or if you don't have a face covering, we can provide one. And we regret you're unwilling to follow guidelines, but we respect your right to vote. So give us some time and we'll organize the area so you can do so. For the I Team, Lolita Lopez, NBC4 News.